Hello family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and today I'm at the Hancock Homestead and Thanksgiving is over and it's time to put up the Christmas tree. So come along and join us. Okay. Alright, so Thanksgiving's over, the table's been cleared and now it's time for the Christmas tree to go up. And Katie Beth is home for the holidays, so she is helping her dad put up the tree. And we have to have an artificial tree, or we're so used to having artificial trees, because when Paul was little, he would have an allergic reaction to the real trees. So we've just gotten used to using oh, artificial he, ones, he just the whole thing. and they are somewhat cheaper because you don't have to buy a new tree every year. But so is it going <coughs> this way? Yep, I think you got it. Looky there. Okay. I knew we sent you to college for a reason. <laughs> All right, there you go. We gotta get Tom Turkey down and Saint Nicholas put up. Nice job, Kitty Bat. Nice job, John. <laughs> you smell that dust? <laughs> I had it brought these mothballs, but it's stable. Well, how old is this tree? Oh, it's a tree. I'd say it's about 10 years old. Yeah. So maybe we should just get a new tree. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that one. We just need to get a plastic storage box and some mothballs like that. Spray <laughs> so it with some, spray it with some of that. Smell. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not real. We'll get some of that um, Glade spray that has this evergreen smell to it. Yes. And we should get one of the automatic ones that goes off like every 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. And then our house would smell like yeah. a real tree. <laughs> and we have a plug right there next to it. So. Right. <laughs> no one would ever know. No one would ever know. That's <laughs> a fake. Except for the whole YouTube world, but <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be able to tell by the branches or anything. No. By the plastic stiff leaves. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, guys. <laughs> I don't want bugs anyway, so probably. Okay, so now we're working on finding all the lights, all the light lines. And here comes the snow. And this year, Katie's going to drape it around the bottom for me so I don't have to get down. So there's a hole in the middle. Yeah, I know. That's, it's old. <laughs> I'm asking, are you supposed to put the base of the tree through the No, uh-uh. It -uh. just happened to... Wouldn't that make more sense? No. You just fold it in half and drape it around so it looks like snow. Well, I want to put it over. No. All right. <laughs> I don't. Let me do it my way. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> yes, you are, but it's not going to work. <laughs> You're not supposed to be showing them our holy snow. <laughs> oh, get it. We have holy snow. <laughs> we did it on purpose. It's to put the bottom of the tree through. <laughs> YouTube can think that. 
<laughs> it's not even in the middle, I don't think. It's a little off center, but so is snow. <laughs> That's why I use it for my snow because you, it's not really any good anymore as a blanket. So, <laughs> you can move that chair if you wanted, but. Yeah, that's looking good, Katie. Alright, hang on. i got to cover all the box. We raise it up on a box so there's more room for presents underneath. Oh. Alright, how does that look? <laughs> uh, that looks good. Very nice. Thanks. Yes, indeed. There you go. Awesome job. Thank you. Thumbs up. Where are we going to put the stockings? This one. Okay, so now Katie's going to push the tree back. Sit down on your bottom. This over here? It's right there in front of it. Yep. Okay, push your feet out. <laughs> push the box back. <laughs> Look at her. That is really good. Yes, keep going. Okay, that, that's good. All right, now you have to come this way and push it that way. I know, but there's a thing right here. It's going to bump into Oh, is it, is it up against that? Okay. Not yet. Well, I know. That's, I want it up against that, though, so we can get our stockings up on the door. Good job. Is that as far as what you wanted to go? I, I just want it to go up against that rail there. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Okay. Don't you want it over more so you can actually see the stockings? I don't think it'll go over anymore because then you're going to cover up the bent. It'll go over like two inches. All right. So now she has the magnets out and she's going to hang the stockings. I wonder whose will go on the very top. So how high do you go like this high? Yeah, you have to go pretty high. Right. And so I usually hang them in rows, you know, like. Paul and Anna, Matt and Karen, you and Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. I don't have one. I don't think I have one for, um, no, I should have one. You don't have one for Emma? Jeffrey or Emma. Oh, okay. Well, then it's time to get one. Okay, so can you see that? I can, yes. I usually start with the oldest child on top, but that's okay. Carol. I'm sorry about the superior. <laughs> everybody loves Karen. <laughs> I got to show everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> I already know you're going to go back and rearrange it. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to put it out. I think they should be ranked. <laughs> Well, I figured you would be putting yours at the top if you were going to go by the way you thought you, you should be arranged. <laughs> I kind of need to like go back with so some marker on these. All right. I've always wanted to get like nice embroidered ones. And I, I never think about it until we actually hang them up. And then I always go, oh, well. Let's see. That's why I got... um. Karen and Matt and those guys embroidery stockings last year for their first Christmas in the house because I figured get them started right. Oh yeah, that looks good. Of course, with yours being down lower, you know, you might end up with more stuff. That's true. <laughs> if it falls out of their stockings, it'll fall into mine. Yep. <laughs> Alright. When so it falls go. out of their stockings, it'll fall into yours. There, what do you think? I think that looks awesome. That is a little off Nicely done. All right.